So those two guys I can speak on because they're already admitted to school and, and all the paperwork's done. And, you know, I always find it tough to get especially front court guys that are able to contribute right away. And you always kind of, you know, take a gamble with taking freshmen that have to play up front. And I thought Kyle Young did a good job for us this year as a true freshman. But we had two other guys, you know, in Sam Friday and Elijah Burns that have had played college basketball before. So for me, it was about, you know, getting two hardworking guys that wanted to be Sienna Saints. They wanted to come to the college. They were excited and energized by conversations we had with them. And they're going to have a full year in our system. And they've already competed at the Division One level, you know, at Pepperdine and uh, Western Illinois, like you said, with, with Kyle Arrington and Jackson Stormo. So, you know, for me, it's to have two guys that are always going to be, you know, having that work ethic and, and pushing the limit in the weight room and, you know, demanding the most out of each other too to have two guys sitting out together I love um I don't ever think you can have 13 guys on your roster happy that are on scholarship and you know sometimes your walk-ons aren't even happy so now to have two guys sitting out um this past year we had Dana Tate and Aiden Carpenter Aiden enrolled early and Dana set out uh, after transferring from Rhode Island so I really think that's my formula you know I always want to have 10 to 11 guys that you know can play and then you always have one or two guys sitting out and maybe even have a scholarship in your back top pocket for a mid-year transfer. I think you got to kind of have some uh, some sort of formula for how you want to run your program with your scholarship because, you know, long gone are the days where you use them all and you don't have anybody sitting out because that transfer rate is way too high.